Recording. Yes, we're back. Okay, so now that we've we've, we've got our we've, we're happy with our mix, it's coming back in through uh, and going out via uh, left and right into my matrix for my my studio speakers, um, like a like a summing mixer. Uh, uh, my my reverbs in in the box are coming back in through. Uh, coming back in through here, so the reverbs come back in through here and come back in through here. So let's have a little listen. So, so that's that's from there coming back in through to here. Return Reaper, it's the master. So we've got our little sound and it's all happy. Yep, great. I just need, do need to say, I'll just pause that over there. So, so in Reaper itself, these are all set in the router. These are set to post fader. So these are all the returns back to the Q32. Um, they're all the returns back to Q32. And the Q16, uh, these returns here, they are mixed in the box down through there, which is the fade, which is the master, and you'll notice that the Q there's a Q return there, and so all of these, these are all the Q32. Uh, the tracking is returned back into the Q32 post those faders up on the screen. So now we'll switch to so this mix here now is in the box that's in the box there okay so if we push play i'll turn it up a bit so if you watch uh this is the main vocal channel 23 so there it is there see push that I'll just start it again so now this time what we're going to do is we're going to record uh, we're going to record play envelopes up on the top so now we're going to we're going to uh, record right record position positions and yeah that'll do no hold on this one here um, touch record fade of movements after first movement, latch record fader movements after, click on that one there. They're all armed. But before we do that, before we do that, we have to turn off the MIDI coming back into the desk. So it's turned off. The output port from here is coming turned off and the output port from here is turned off. So if I, if I move this fader here, you'll still see that it's getting MIDI data but there's no MIDI data coming back. And the same as a Q16, there's no MIDI data coming back, coming back out of it. Okay. So now let's record fader movements. We're working in the custom layer mode, and that's all moving those up in there. As you can see, the red is already, the, the kick is already moved because I moved it. And so is the, um, so is what I call the fatner, which is over there. So we go W, First, we've got a highlight Reaper. W, start at the beginning. And we've got a mix. So now, if you're just watching the very scene. This next track is available tonight. See that? For a set. It's come for somebody. Okay. So, I'll push up the bass. There's the pushing up the bass. Pulling the bass down. Keys, push the keys up. Push the keys down. So I push those up and down. Pull that back, it's driving me nuts. So now this is our reverbs and etc. over here. Delay. Remembering that we're recording these moments, we're recording these in, in the box. Here. 
represent. Okay. Stop. So now we've recorded those fader movements from here into there. Now we're going to turn off, turn on, we're going to turn on the MIDI coming back into the desk like that. Okay, and so now we're going to just highlight Reaper again because we've got to know that we're, we're talking to it. W, oops, W. Watch the faders down this here. This next track is available tonight. So we're not mixing in the box. We're mixing in the desk, see? What else did I do? Um, move the bass up, see? Mix the bass up, here. The keys, I move the keys. Envelopes are recorded. I'll just stop this. I'll start it again and you will start it again. This next track is available tonight. You watch your channel uh, 23. That's what's happening down here. It's just a duplicate of what's happening down here. We're in the custom layer mode. Remember that. But it is coming back in through here. It is coming back in through my lower mode. mode. Yeah, my lower level. Same stuff. Baby. Yeah, okay, let's stop this. Now, if I want to, if I want to change those envelopes, there the envelopes are there. I want to change those envelopes. Got to make sure I'm the right thing up here. Latch, record movements after first fader. Record fader movements to armed envelopes. Latch, allow temporary override. No, touch, touch. Uh, we want to record after the, no, that's the same one. Yep, that's it. Yep, great. It's the one we're on. Fantastic. But now we have to turn off this here. Off. Off. And so they are both off. So that's the MIDI coming back into the desk. So we're in our custom layer mode again. Over here, that stays in custom layer mode. W. Oh, hold on. I've got to select Reaper. I've got to select Reaper. Yep. Yep. It's W play. So here we go again. So now I'm overwriting. Overwriting. Pull some bass back. Keys up. Push up the push the snare up this time. Okay. Kick over there, push the kick up. Okay. So I'm, I'm overwriting the envelopes in the box, in the box. And so this time you'll see I'll keep off, I'll keep off, uh, keep out the vocals. Because it's all post in the box. Okay, so we'll stop it there. So we've stopped it. And so now, if we turn this back on, turn the MIDI coming back into the system, highlight Reaper, highlight Reaper, W, play. And there's my... This next track yeah. 
is available tonight. So it's a different mix from the first time. Somebody's baby. Remember I turned the bass down, push the keys up, push the snare up this time. But on no account, but on no account should you try to manoeuvre this now because it's locked in, it's locked into Reaper. It's locked into, into the MIDI coming back from Reaper. Remember I turned the vocals down this time. Yep. Push up the snare I think again. Did we? And now the other part which I didn't adjust is kick back in. And so that's how you can do automation in Reaper. It's a funny way around it because there isn't a button like on the GS R24 which has an in and out to turn the, to turn the right and the read off. I hope this has helped you.